Assalamu alaikum everyone. We are going to start scientific notation today and uh, it is a special type of number. And why do we need scientific notation for standard form? Sometimes you will have a very very big number. For example, look at this number. It is a very very big number. You have so many digits in this number. So if you want to use this number in calculations or uh, in any other mathematical operation, you will have to work hard because it is a very very big number. Your, com your calculations will become complex if you use this number. Okay? If you want to add this number into another number or if you want to multiply or divide this number with any other number, uh, you will face well, you will face difficulty because it is a very very big number. So we are going to reduce this number. So reduction of this number uh, will convert this number into scientific notation or standard form. Let's look at this number. 50.3. Look at this number. You can see a decimal in this number here. Yeah. This is a decimal in this number. Okay. And uh, look at this number. 3.56 again you have a decimal in this number but what about this number do you have any decimal in this number no do you have any decimal no sir why is there 50.3 50.3 you can you can have any number you can have any number okay it is a decimal number you can have any type of number okay Achha, listen boys basically Mm, I was asking about the decimal. That do you have any decimal in this number? No, sir. No, okay. Sir. If you don't have decimal in any number, it means you have a decimal at the end. You have decimal at here. Okay. Similarly, if you talk about this number, 200, uh, 2005. You cannot see any decimal in this number, but you have decimal at the end. So one thing is clear now that uh, if you don't have decimal in any number, if you don't have decimal in any number, it means you can write decimal from yourself at the end. At the end of the number, you can write decimal. Now, how to convert this <coughs> huge number into scientific notation? Basically, you need to shift decimal after first non-zero place. After first non-zero place. Okay, boys, you need to bring the decimal after first non-zero digit. Look at this number. What is first non-zero digit in this number? Five. 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 So you need to bring decimal after first non-zero digit. Okay? You need to bring decimal from this place to the first non-zero digit. So this will become 5.0. No need to write remaining zeros because uh, if you have zeros after decimal, you no need to write these zeros after decimal. Multiply 10 raised to power. Now, uh, power of 10 will be equal to the number of digits between old decimal place and new decimal place. Listen, this was old decimal place and this is new decimal place. You will count how many digits do you have between old decimal place and new decimal place. Listen, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. So this will be 10 raised to power 10. Okay? Now look at this number. Look at this number. What is first non zero digit? 2. 2. two. So you need to bring decimal after first non zero digit. Your decimal will be here. So this number will become 2.003. Two, zero, zero, Five, six, multiply by ten days to power. Now you will count the number of digits. We will count the number of digits between old decimal place and new decimal place. So you will have uh, one, two, three, four. This is standard form or scientific notation of this number. Any problem in these two examples? No. You will bring decimal after first non zero place, first, uh, first non zero number, hmm? and then the power of 10 will be equal to the number of digits between old decimal place and new decimal place. Now sometimes you will have a negative power. Like uh, in these two examples, the power of 10 was positive. Similarly here, the power of 10 is positive. But sometimes you will have negative power. Look at this number. 0 0.000065. 3. Uh, 
what is first non zero digit here non zero digit non zero not zero five six six exactly the first non zero digit is six. six so you need to bring decimal after first non zero digit here will be the new place of decimal yes. the uh, first non zero digit the decimal will become after first non zero digit okay so you will have uh, 6.5 multiply by 10 raised to power 1 2 3 4 5 you have five digits between old decimal place and new decimal place but in this case the power of 10 will be negative because decimal is coming forward if decimal is going backward like in this example and in this example uh, the decimal is going backward so the power of 10 was positive but in this example decimal is coming forward so if decimal is coming forward the power of 10 will be negative okay it was uh, it's all about the scientific notation or standard form sometimes you will have to add subtract multiply or divide the numbers written in standard form for example uh, if you have a number if uh, you need to multiply these two numbers 6.5 multiply by 10 raised to power 8 multiply by 2 multiply by 10 raised to power minus 2 you have two numbers you have two numbers this is first number and this is second number and you can see that both numbers are in standard form are in scientific notation both numbers are in scientific notation and uh, if you multiply these two numbers okay. if you multiply these two numbers you need to think of two numbers either you have a number with uh, 10 power or you have some numbers without 10 look at these two numbers 6.5 and 2 these two numbers are without 10 you don't have any power of 10 with this 6.5 and 2. I'm trying to tell you that uh, in case of operations on scientific notation, you will operate the numbers without 10 separately and the numbers with 10 separately. Like this number 6.5 will be multiplied with 2 and this number 10 raised to power 8 will be multiplied with 10 raised to power minus 2. 6.5 will be multiplied with 2 and 10 raised to power 8 will be multiplied with 10 raised to power minus 2. You know, if you multiply 6.5 with 2, this will become 13. And you know about uh, laws of indices. If you multiply two numbers with same basis. If you multiply, if you, just a minute. If you multiply uh, two numbers with same basis, you will have to add indices of both numbers. You, you will add 8 and minus 2. Because index of this 10 is 8 and index of this 10 is minus 2. Okay. So this will become 13 multiply by 10 raised to the power 8 minus 2 is 6. So this is a short method to multiply these two numbers without calculator. You can have another example in just a minute. If you divide these two numbers like 6 multiplied by 10 to the power 8 divided by 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 5. Listen, again, like in previous examples, I have told you that the numbers without 10 will be operated separately. You will operate 6 with 3 and 10 to the power 8 with 10 to the power 5. Because this is a division operation, so you will divide 6 over 3, multiply by 10 raised to power 8, divided by 10 raised to power 5, like this. This number will be divided over this number, and this number will be divided over this number. You know, 6 over 3 is 2, and this is second law of indices. If you are dividing two numbers, then uh, with same basis, then indices will be subtracted. So you will subtract 8 and 5. This will become 2 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 3. Again, you have divided this number over this number without using that. 